I've used the word obesogen a few times, so I want to talk about and define for you what an obesogen is because this is going to lead into our discussion of food addiction. Obesogens are actually chemicals that are either naturally occurring or, in, or, or man-made uh, that are uh, endocrine system disruptors. And what our endocrine system does is it regulates uh, uh, our metabolism, it regulates our, our, our weight, it regulates our, our overall you know, uh, body function on a cellular level. And when these obesogens, when these chemicals in our environment or in our food themselves uh, are ingested into the body, it essentially disrupts the endocrine system. What this does is it increases the production of fat cells, it decreases the calories burned, and it changes how we actually feel or how we interpret hunger, leading to what has been referred to again uh, by Joel Furman in his books as toxic hunger. It, it really is from the addiction uh, to these unhealthy chemicals uh, which are in our food supply. Well, let's talk about where they come from and how we can avoid obesogens. And then we'll talk specifically about the cycle of food addiction and how we can break that. Uh, of course, high fructose corn syrup, uh, uh, high fructose any syrup, um, uh, artificial chemicals, if you have to call the chemist to read the ingredient label, chances are uh, there are obesogens in here and you'd be surprised at where you'd find them. You think yogurt, that's healthy. So you buy a, your kid yogurt and you look at the kid yogurt and you see, wow, uh, it contains high fructose corn syrup. Uh, of course, sponge cakes do, we knew that already, uh, but sometimes yogurt can be as unhealthy as sponge cakes. And so read the labels. Bread is another source of these obesogens. And breads already have low nutritional value, even when made with whole grains compared to other foods. And when we add these chemical uh, artificial ingredients into it, it becomes something that sets off the cycle of, of toxic hunger and craving. We also find obesogens in pesticides, pesticides that are sprayed on crops, pesticides that are used in the environment, uh, or, you know, uh, water runoff, uh, which is why it's really important to, uh, uh, to use filtered water and to wash your vegetables. Because what these chemicals do is they actually disrupt the body's ability uh, to manage the endocrine system, which can lead to a very difficult time losing weight. America is fatter now than ever before. Uh, it's just amazing at how we've gained so much weight despite the availability of so many healthy and nutritious foods. And the reason why, uh, or part of the reason why, is these chemicals in our food supply and um, in, in the environment around us. And another source of obesogens is plastics. Uh, plastic bottles. I, for example, rarely ever drink bottled water. Uh, I prefer filtered water, never drink bottled water. One, the bottle ends up in the landfill. It takes a lot of, uh, a lot of petroleum distillates, uh, 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 oil, crude oil, if you will, um, the same stuff you put in your car to make a bottle for bottled water. Uh, but flip those bottles open, flip the containers open, and look on the bottom. And if you see a number three or a number seven, that's an indicator that this could potentially leak obesogens into the product. And the chemical that it could leak is called BPA, which is a chemical that's already been banned in the production of any baby bottles because we know it's bad for them. And uh, I imagine it'll be banned in the future in other packaging. Uh, but right now you want to flip over plastic containers, bottles, etc. You want to look for a number one, a two, uh, a four, uh, a five, a six, but you don't want to see a three or a seven because they're more likely uh, to leak BPAs. What else can we do to avoid obesogens? And obesogens lead to that toxic hunger, increasing our hunger, and a, and a craving for uh, high fat foods that make it difficult to lose weight. Well, we can environmentally uh, make some changes. Uh, again, looking for that three or the seven as a warning sign on the bottom of plastics. Uh, we want to buy our meat from the butcher, ask him to wrap it in butcher paper rather than those plastic and styrofoam containers. We want to skip adding artificial chemicals to the environment uh, like uh, uh, 
are artificial chemically produced air fresheners. Instead, opening the window and buying some flowers. Uh, these are the kind of things that can help us to avoid these uh, obesogens uh, that occur in our um, environment unnaturally. Fish should be wild caught when possible. Later on, we're going to talk about uh, uh, on the on the DVD, the cooking DVD, you know where to buy fish. I'm going to give you uh, some ideas on, on where I purchase my fish, so that we can avoid uh, fish with hormones, fish with antibiotics, and other uh, uh, other obesogens. Uh, we want to eat fewer canned foods and more whole foods, and these types of actions will decrease the likelihood of endocrine disruptors um, causing us to actually become obese. I've always said it's not really how much of the food we're eating, it's actually what we're eating that's killing us.